morning. Today is the day. Hyperthermia treatment number one. Uh, there's gonna be four people in the room, three others with Sarah. And, um, you know, it's that nervous excitement before a big event. Um, but we're, um, you know, we're here, we're ready. Doctors and nurses are gonna take great care of them. And six, seven hours later, you'll wake up. Um, just a little bit of uh, preparation. They gave me a sleeping pill last night. I don't think it did very much, uh, but I was luckily very tired and just didn't want to be hungry anymore. <laughs> so I went to sleep. Um, and this morning at about 5.30, they gave me an enema, um, which wasn't so bad. They're like so gentle and kind here. So <clears throat> I wasn't able to go back to sleep after that, but somebody did. Um, and so I journaled and I chatted with some people and um, did some self Reiki and just waited. They had me shower this morning. I have like no lotion on, no makeup, no jewelry. Um, just a water shower. Just a I water guess. shower, no soap. Um, it can uh, irritate your skin during the yeah. hypothermia. It's um, helpful. I have a shower that has a bathtub, but it also has like a spray nozzle. So it's like easy to keep this dry. There's like a handhold thing that I kind of put this up on. So anyway, that was our prep work for the most part after not eating yesterday or just having broth, which was pretty good. I liked it. I like broth. So I'm, I think I'm at like a 80 to 90% ready, 10 to 20, maybe 10% nervous, 10% hungry phase. So that's it. We'll see you when we get out. Maybe Matt will give you updates along the way. Yeah, it'll mostly consist of she's still in there. <laughs> so we'll uh, see you on the other side. Okay. Thanks for all the well wishes and prayers and vibes. Um, it actually really means a lot to me. Thanks, everyone. Bye. So this is the inter-room outside the whole body hyperthermia room. Not allowed to go in, but just wanted to show you. Usually people wait here next to the convenient coffee machine. I'm uh, doing okay, just a little, a little nervous, kind of odd not having anything to be able to do, but um, try to just make do and get through it. So if I find out some news, so. Let you all know. No news yet, which is good news in this case. Hey, so I just got back from a little uh, kind of gifty uh, uh, shop. Got some flowers at the, there's a farmer's market in the square, just outside the clinic um, in Bad Eibling here. And so got some flowers for Sarah when she wakes up. They're done with the treatment. Just heard from the nurses, and they will be waking up slowly. The anesthesia lasts a little bit, you know, an hour or two longer, depending on the person, longer than the, uh, the treatment. So I'm going to kind of just freshen up and get ready and wait for her to come out. And then we'll be in some uh, this recovery room, separate from your um, residence room. They'll be in the recovery rooms for uh, through tonight. Yeah, through tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a little, little decoration and got some, she probably won't be too hungry. They want gelato when they're, when they're done, her and Carrie. So we'll definitely get gelato probably tomorrow though. Uh, tonight, I don't, they won't really want anything tonight. But I did get a bar of chocolate just in case she wanted a little treat. Um, they, they said everything went, went well and so we'll, we'll see how she, how she comes out.